Okay, today I'm called. I'm cooking today tola. Tola is a food that we call in Mandingo. We call it Mandingo tola. I don't know the name uh, in English though. Okay, this is the way we cook tola. I just already fried the chicken already and put some water on the boil a little bit. And after when that water was almost finished in the pot, and I add the onions and tomato and some seasoning. I put some uh, chicken bouillon on it and um, some goya seasoning. So, and the tomatoes. This is the tomato red and the onions, so I'm frying them right now. So the onions is well done. So I'm gonna add the peanut butter. After I add in the peanut butter, and I'm gonna add the water. So they're gonna boil together, just like the way you cook like a peanut butter soup. So that's the almost kind of same way you cook the, uh, this other food too. But the only difference is like if they have, I have like a powder. That's the powder you're supposed to add on it to thick off, to make the uh, the soup thicker. Because this other one is more thicker than the peanut butter soup. I already post my peanut butter, how to cook peanut butter soup on my YouTube channel already. So if you want to see that, so you can go to my YouTube channel and and check that out too. So it's almost similar how to cook peanut butter soup too. The only difference is you're going to add the powder and uh, cow feet. So this is my cow feet. So I'm cooking the cow feet too. The cow feet is almost ready too. So when this is ready, so when I cook, finish cooking, adding water, so I'm gonna add the cow feet too. My cow feet is almost ready too. So cow feet, you need to boil like almost like a one hour. If you don't wanna boil it like this, you can put in a pressure cooker too. You can um, boil in a pressure cooker, it's more faster. I don't have no pressure cooker, so I, I put in the pot and add water like almost an hour ago. So it's almost ready because you see it's falling out of the bones, so that means it's ready. So this is um this tube I'm cooking right there. Just like the way you cook Nigerian tube is almost the same thing, but like we, we add water on it. So when you add water, you can add the peanut butter on it. So you're gonna cook it when it boil and the water is almost half like a half dry, so you're gonna add that powder. So I'm gonna show you guys how to add the powder, okay? All right then. Okay, this is the chicken bouillon, the one I'm adding. I got upside down. Okay, this is the chicken bouillon. I always cook with this chicken bouillon. I love it, it's very good. And with goya. So I already had the goya already. So that's the chicken bouillon I was trying to show you guys. Any any goya season is good or any kind of season you like is better so you see the water is almost the onions is almost ready so soon I'm gonna add the peanut butter I will show you guys that later okay okay I just add the peanut butter so this is the peanut butter already so I just add the peanut butter so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna mix it I'm gonna mix the peanut butter all over to make sure it's the peanut butter melt because the peanut butter is supposed to be melted. You want to make sure you mix it very well. You don't want the peanut butter like in the bottle of the pot. So this is the peanut butter. Mixing the peanut butter. So when the peanut butter is well mixed, so I'm going to add the water. It's almost well mixed. So you don't see them. You don't, you're not seeing that much peanut butter no more. So I'm going to add the water. So this is the coffee. The coffee is ready. So the water is almost done under the coffee. So I'm gonna add the coffee after when I add the water. Okay, I just add water and I already put the coffee already inside. So I got chicken, coffee, and turkey neck today. So I got some turkey neck and some more chicken and coffee. I'm cooking live. I, um, was a live chicken I buy today and they killed for me. I always cook with the live chicken. I love live chicken. When I go, because I ha they have the shop next by my house, so I always walk, go there, and they will kill the chicken for me, and I will come and cook it. It tastes much better than the, the frozen chicken you buy in the supermarket. In my own opinion, though, that's how I like it. Okay, then, so I already add the water. 
so and I'm gonna close it down and you're gonna try and make sure it's well seasoned okay so I already tried mine and it's well seasoned the way I want it and I have a younger son and he don't like hot pepper that much so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just throw some um, some hot pepper just like that like the ball I don't need to blend the hot pepper because the last time when I cook it and I had some hot pepper he did not eat the food and I don't like that so this time I would not put blend I did not blend the hot pepper so I'm gonna just throw the hot pepper just like that so this is the peanut butter soup already so I'm so I'm gonna today I'm not cooking peanut butter soup I'm cooking tola so that's all I'm gonna add the powder so later on when it's time to add the powder I'm gonna show you guys okay because some this water need to sim sim down and make sure like the water go down but this water is too much all right then so you so this is the powder this is the powder we call tola so this is an oil like a cooking oil so you can put the cooking oil on the bowl like this so this is the powder this is the to tola powder so you're gonna add in the oil cooking oil like this so you're gonna put enough whatever because the food I'm cooking the size is a little bit bigger because I cook enough food because I want to give my sister some food too so this is bigger size so if it's bigger size you need more more tola okay so I already this is a big spoon so I'm gonna to put two big spoon and I'm gonna mix it so I'm gonna mix it to make sure the oil and um, and the tola mix together so you're gonna mix it just like that the way I'm mixing it right now see it so you want to make sure all the lump is well mixed you don't want no lump inside because if you leave the lump inside it will you're gonna put the make the lump gonna be inside the soup so you don't want some you don't want no lump inside the soup because you're gonna be eating that powder with the soup together I bet you, you don't want that you know you don't need no lump in it so you see I'm just mix it right now so it's no lump left so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna add inside the, uh, the peanut butter soup it's just like a peanut butter soup the only different the only different is like you're gonna add the tola so you see the way I just add the tola so you're gonna mix in it okay okay I add the powder so when you add the powder so you see the uh, it will make it more thicker so now you see this is the thicker side now the other peanut butter soup the one thing the first one I cooked was not that thick so you see how this other one is more thicker, it's thicker and slimy. So when you add that tola, tola is slimy, just like an okra a little bit. So it gives you the okra, the okra texture. So you see, so this is tola. We add, I already added the tola already. So you see, it's nice and thicker now and the oil is all over. So this is tola. Okay, love you guys, bye.